What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix a really common issue that you could be experiencing with Java. I'm currently trying to set up and run a new 1.17 Minecraft server and I'm receiving this error over here. Linkage error occurred while loading main class blah 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 has been compiled by a more recent version of the Java runtime. Class file version 60, this version of the Java runtime only recognizes class file versions up to version 55.0, i.e. the version of Java installed on my computer is slightly out of date. Not too good, but simple to fix. What do we need to do? Well, what you can do from here is go ahead and Google for Java major version numbers. The one over here, the Stack Overflow post, will be linked in the description down below as it seems to be updated relatively often as this is a semi-common issue. List of Java class file format major version numbers. As you can see, version 60 is only supported by Java 16 over here, i.e. we need to download and install Java 16 in order for this program to work properly. If the error is saying Java 57, 58, etc, etc, you'll need to download the relevant versions of Java or above. Of course, you can skip the step completely and download the latest cutting edge version of Java, regardless of whether you know if you need it or not, as Java does like to support previous versions of itself. Cool, so now that we know that we need Java 16 installed instead of the previous Java 8, which was more commonly used for Minecraft, let's go ahead and download it. If I were to Google for download Java 16, you'll be taken across to a page that looks something similar to this. But what you can also do is look in the description down below for the Java SE downloads link, where you'll find a complete list of all of the Java SE standard edition downloads, SE 16, 11, 8, etc, etc. So, Java SE 16. All that we have to do is click JDK download, scroll down over here looking for the correct version of Windows, and then we'll simply download the installer, tick the box, and download the EXE. You might then be prompted to sign in, especially if there's a little lock next to the download button. If not, great. If you are prompted to sign in, you'll need to create an account. Anyway, now that it's downloaded, I'll open up the installer, click next, next, wait for this to finish, and finally close. Upon doing this, I should be able to open up the file that we needed to open previously and things should work properly. You'll be able to run the program as per usual. I'm of course getting this error over here as I need to go ahead and accept something for the Java server to run properly. Let's assume that for some reason it didn't work. What else can we try? Well, we can try a uninstalling previous versions of Java that could be conflicting with it and the program could be using instead of the correct latest version. Or on top of that, we can try finding where the actual Java install is, making sure it's not some sketchy install installed by some other program in some odd file without an uninstaller. So to begin, let's start by uninstalling previous versions of Java from our computer, which is really good and you should be doing anyway. We can go ahead and try to uninstall previous versions of Java if you weren't already prompted by the uninstaller. Hit start, type in control, and open up the control panel. Inside of here, click uninstall a program under programs, or if you see something like this instead, look for programs and features and click on it. Once this window opens up, sort by name, click anywhere on the list and then hit J to jump straight down to J. All that you have to do from here is simply uninstall all versions of Java that aren't the latest version that you just installed. It's that simple. Some of them will be SE development kits, such as the version 16, and some of them will be the older format of Java version number, update another version number. After uninstalling all of them, except for the latest one that you're currently using and that you downloaded, things should work properly. But let's assume that it still doesn't work. What can we do from here? Well, let's go ahead and find out where this version of Java is, and let's figure out if it's the correct version of Java or if it's installed by some other obscure program. If it's installed by another obscure program, you're able to delete it and reinstall it or something along those lines. I'll hit start, type in CMD and hit enter to open up a new command prompt window. This looks very similar to the one over here. And of course, if I were to run Java hyphen version as such, you'll see the version that it's currently pointing to. Java version 11, SE runtime environment, blah, blah, blah. This is not the correct version of Java. This is instead in a different location. I've just recently installed Java 8. It's currently looking at Java SE Development Kit 11.0.11 over here, rather than the latest version I've just installed. 
tip, it's a good idea to uninstall all other versions of Java on your computer if you're receiving this error and you have no idea what to do. If you use the development kit, it could be something that helps you out. After doing this, you can close out of the program once again and try to run it. If you're still receiving this error, once again, what else can we try? Well, in the description down below, you'll find this bit of text. You should be able to paste in something like this. Forward percentage I in java.exe to at echo percentage tilde dollar sign path colon I. After hitting enter, you'll be pointed to all of the installed versions of Java on your computer. For me, one of them's in C, program files 86, common files, Oracle, Java, Java path, etc, etc. I can copy this by selecting it and right clicking, then pasting it into a new file browser window to be taken directly to it. As you can see, these files over here were recently interacted with, meaning that it is pointing to the correct latest version of Java that I've just installed, rather than some other random version on my computer. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching, my name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!